You know, it's strange, man. I, I felt like for the past three years, I've had these glasses on and I was able to detect and understand these problems that my family was suffering with. And when I started to make these adjustments and really take matters into my own hands, some of the choices that I was making, people did not understand it. It wasn't, they weren't aware of it. They couldn't see what I could see. They couldn't see the setbacks and disappointments and the negativity that we're all engulfed in. They couldn't see it, but I could. My family has been struggling with mental illness for a very long time uh, on certain parts of my family. And I felt like I was born, born is like a punishment. That's what it felt like. It felt like I was punished. I was trapped. I didn't understand why. The feelings that I felt did not match up to my family. So I felt very alone, very disconnected. I felt so scared, man. I was scared to death. I was scared. But I didn't even know what I was scared of. That's the thing. What are we scared of? What is there really to be scared of? It's our mind. Our mind is scared and we don't even know why. Which is why I believe it's part of the game. It's there to make it grow. But it's like, I go back to the, this period of psychosis. For three years, I was on a whole other planet, man. This planet of healing. I had this special ability to where I could see these problems. And when I started to make these adjustments, people started to question me. It's like I became the crazy one. I became the nut. You're a fucking nut, dude. I don't know what you're doing, but you're weird. You're changing. I don't like you. Why are you turning your back on me? Why? But I could see issues that others couldn't. So it left me with all of these questions. Why? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to suffer? Why do I have to break these curses? Why do I have to really change where I was at? It's because the reality that I was living in was not built upon truth. It was such an illusion that I was so far disconnected from my spirit. Something needed to shatter that. And when it shattered my reality, it... It ignited this, this warrior inside of me, this ferociousness, this animal I never even knew that I had, but I was searching for it this whole time. It was like this inertia. It's like once it struck me, it was go time. I had no other choice. I had to fight, fight or flight, survival mode. And I was doing anything that I had to do to get myself out of where I was at. And the people who were trying to steal my love, trying to manipulate me and control me, people who betrayed me. It's like I got slashed, man. I got stoned. I got bricked. I got shot at. It, that's what it felt like. I felt like I was in a war for the past three years. And I saw everybody who took advantage of me. And before, I, it was so unsettling because these, these moves that I had to make, I didn't understand it in that time period. I didn't know why I had to do what I had to do. And a lot of my choices brought me back to myself. I came home to myself, but I live with a lot of shame and regret, not regret, but a little bit uncomfortable. It's like I'm grieving because the people that I tried to save, they ended up in a very bad position. They're in jail now, probably for a few years. Don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but it's like when I took back my power, and I tried, to, I tried to tell people, listen, just hang on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm it. I'm the one, baby. You just have to, you have to stay with me. You have to stick with me. I don't know what I'm battling. I'm, I'm fighting these demons, but I'm telling you, when I come out on the other side, you need to be next to me. I got you. I got you. I got you. And they betrayed me. They betrayed me. They betrayed me. So I had to disconnect. Completely Bring the power back inside of me. Ignore everything else. Okay, that's your choice. That's your life. No longer going to be a part of it. And they were family, mem family members, man. People that I love the most. So at times I get very... Oh, man. It's like this force can be so powerful at times. I question why. What the fuck is this? What is going on? What is this? It's like my spirit of who I was completely died, but a new one became alive 
In these three years, I was fighting. I was fighting my way out of hell. I was suffering. I mean, I put on this mask that I was okay, but it was such a lie. It was such a false perception of who I was because I was battling these demons so deep inside. But I had to stay in this positive state because that's how I had to manipulate it. And I stayed true to myself, man. I stayed true. And I got to the other side. I'm on the other side now. And a part of me feels like, damn, I really had to go through all of that to change my life? What the fuck? It's like at times I try to look for people to, for them to understand me. Why do I feel like the outcast? Why do I feel like the outsider looking in? I can't build relationships because I feel like I'm so... I feel so alone. Because I can see others, I can see things that others cannot at times. And it's like, am I crazy? Am I seeing this? Is this real? Is my spirit lying to me? Is something outside of me betraying me? Are these illusions? Can I trust myself? But I know I can now. I know I can now. I talked to myself before with such negativity. I would make one mistake. I hate myself for it. Why would you do that? You're an idiot. I hate you. Oh my God, you gotta save yourself. You're gonna die, dude. You gotta, you gotta fix it. You gotta fix it. You gotta fix it. But now that I look back and I say, well, that's not a way to treat yourself, bro. It's not a way to treat yourself. Holy crap. Look how you've been talking to yourself. Look how you've been treating yourself, man. But I had to do it. I had to do it in that time because I had to survive. That inner warrior had to come out. Trauma, it'll, it'll strike you in a way that sometimes it's like you enter this new state of being. And sometimes, depending on how strong that is, you can either A, become very scared and timid and don't know how to react. And we live in this world of illusion and we listen to these voices and these emotions. Which can then lead to addiction and escapism. Because we don't know how to manage or, or navigate ourselves through this dark world. Or we can find that inner warrior that says, no, this is not going to control me. I'm going to save myself. I'm going to do it. And once you start to fight, once you start to find yourself in this rope, in this jungle, you learn how to navigate yourself through it. By looking at it from a peaceful standpoint. To no longer engage and feed into this. Because when you feed into it, it multiplies. It blows up. It suffocates you. It controls you. But a part, of, a part of that warrior needed to be ignited so I can finally stand up and say, nope, I'm ready for this challenge. It's, nope, you're not going to break me. I'm unstoppable. I'm unbreakable. Yep, I'm, I know where I'm going. I'm going to paradise. And I'm doing any, anything that I have to do to survive, I'm surviving. I'm going to paradise regardless of what anybody else has to say. And during this time, people are going to question you. People are going to raise their eyebrows. People are going to say, you're changing. You're, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. But like you're doing all of this to say the same. You're doing all of this to say the same. You are what's important. Your life choices are what's important. I'd rather be alone and respected in my own internal world than not be alone and not be respected at all. I was dead for the last 25 years of my life. Dead, 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 not alive. I'm alive now. I'm alive. Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in a dream. <laughs> At times I feel like cutting myself a little bit just to see if I can bleed. Don't take that literally. Don't have this, and I don't have those thoughts, but sometimes it's just so, it's so bizarre. It's so crazy what trauma can do to a person, man. It broke me down. I mean, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I couldn't... Uh, headaches. Physical illnesses. I couldn't go to the bed. So many things were beginning to happen. But I trusted the process. I never gave up. I never gave up. Felt like I just came back from one of the biggest, longest wars. <laughs> and I don't know really know how to, how, to, how, to, how to cope or understand with this new state of being. 
rather than just follow my intuition. I'm, I'm balanced now. I'm sane. I'm happy. I'm fucking, I, my heart is open more now than ever. But I had to learn how to manipulate it. <laughs> I had to manipulate myself. I had to convince myself so much and every day I had to become obsessed with getting myself out of this hell. And it's like the answers are inside, man. The reason why I was suffering was inside and all the answers were revealed to me. And it's like, holy fuck. I can't, I, I, your mind can't wrap your head around it sometimes. Jesus Christ, I can't, the people who go to war and come back and suffer with this shit, holy fuck. I can't, your mind is nowhere near to be found. It's not here. It's not here. And depending if that warrior is activated or it's not activated, if it's not activated, you can become so lost that you're just, you get sucked into that maze and you're just, whoa, uh, where do I begin? Where do I start? How do I, what? Spirituality saved me, man. Higher power saved me. I'm fucking blessed. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, man. But we all are guided. We're all connected. We're all divinely guided. How you talk to yourself, your mindset dictates where you go. And if we listen to these voices, if we feed into these voices, if we feed into these emotions, they're going to drag you down a light. They're going to drag you down a path that is not fucking the greatest. But it's all there to teach you. Hey, look what you're allowing to control you. Look at these voices. Look what you're telling yourself. Look at these emotions. Look at this. If this is controlling you internally, things externally are going to control you even more. So, which is why we may never be able to step into our power, which is why we may be so timid and scared and feel like we can't open up or be vulnerable because people are going to judge, people are going to hate, people are going to throw negativity. We get scared. We get scared. We're scared. We're scared because we're sensitive. I'm sensitive as can be. I didn't know how to use my sensitivity for, for, for power. I didn't know how to use the empathy and the love inside of me for power because it was stripped away so many times. I felt like it just, yeah, give, I'll give, 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 take, take, take. I, I, yep, I'm a sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice. So it created my own personal hell. When that warrior is activated, it was fuck love at that point. I'm doing whatever I have to do to save myself. And I don't even care. If you're in my path, get out. It's all love at the end of the day, man, but... Trauma, it'll take you to a whole different world. It'll take you to a whole different world, especially if you're not, <laughs> if you're not ready for it. And I don't think anybody's ever ready for trauma. Who the fuck is? It's a blessing in disguise. It's valuable pain, man. It's valuable pain. It's all about how you look at it. And you got to look at it from a clear, a clear view. Got to look at it from a clear view and step into it, step into it, step into it. When you're in it, you can start to look around. You're not running away any from you. You're not distracting yourself. You're not, you're not going here. You're not going there. You're not escaping. You're facing it. You're engulfed in it. Could take you a few months. Could take you a few years. It took me three. But once you're engulfed in it, signs and symbols and synchronicities and the spirit inside of you becomes alive. And you start to find how to navigate yourself out of this. And you may need to disconnect and go into hermit mode and completely disconnect from everything. But that's the beautiful, that's where everything is found. Oh, being alone is where everything is found. That's how we can save ourselves, by disconnecting from everything. Because when you're in tune with yourself, you can use your intuition. You learn how to cope and, and adapt to the intuition, the navigation inside of you, the GPS inside of you. And it'll, it'll pull you out of this maze. And when you transition to the other side, you'll get a glimpse of this perspective of where you were. And you say, oh, I wasn't even aware. This is a real thing. I was like that. My mindset was like that. I was feeling like that. Holy shit, look how much I was killing myself. I was killing myself. I killed myself. But I had to kill myself to know that I was alive. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. It's the craziest thing, man. Craziest thing. I tried to find people who would relate to me, but sometimes it's like in order to become a star, you got to be the star in the darkness, man. What's a star do? They shine bright. They shine bright in where? The darkness. 
that star inside of you needs to become activated. Once it's activated, you become the light in the dark. <laughs> you gotta shoot for the stars, man. You gotta shoot for them. I took a risk because I had the power. I had something on my side, just as well as we all do. But we're just not aware of it because of the illusions that have been built upon our past. The only thing we have is now. Not yesterday, not the day before, not tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow. Now, 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 now. And if we're not, if our mindset is not focused on the here and now, and it's pulled and stretched into the past or the future, it's gonna be very hard to create in the now. Everything is in the present moment. Present, it's a present. It's a present. <laughs> present. Trauma can, uh, it'll save your life in a way that you may not even be aware of. Transitioning to the other side, it's like, uh, wow. Wow. You just see how hard you are on yourself because of the circumstances that we're dealing with. So hard on herself. It's, um, it can be cruel at times. I was so hard, so hard on myself. I beat myself up. Because of the environment that I was in, the reality that I was living. I had, to, I, had to, I had to do whatever I had to do. I had to do whatever I had to do. I had to do whatever I had to do, man. So it's just like I try to take it in for what it's worth. And I had to shoot for the stars. I had to shoot for the stars, man. I don't know, sometimes you feel alone. You feel like an outsider looking in. What the fuck is this? Why? Why? What is going on? I don't understand. I feel psychotic. I feel like I'm stuck in psychosis. Am I schizophrenic? Are these spirits real? Are these voices real? Is this GPS real? Is this navigation real? This divinely guided pathway, is this real? It's where the love is. It's where harmony is, devotion, integrity, faith, resilience. It's where you can flourish. It's where you can become alive. You become the good warrior. You slay the dragon. You slay the demon. You slay the devil. You slay that shadow. You slay the anxiety. You slay the depression. What can stop you? Nothing. Nothing. Trauma's good, but it can also be bad. The more we give into it, the more it controls us. The more we say, no, no longer going to control us. It's time to fight. Put your boots on. Put your boxing gloves on. Let's go to war, baby. And you start fighting. No. Anytime a negative thought comes in your head, no. You, you throw 20 positive thoughts. Anytime a negative feeling comes in, you don't give into it. You come back and find the peace in it. Tell yourself, no, come back to self, come back to self. Don't feed in, don't feed in. Don't distract yourself, don't go for a walk, don't do this, don't do that. Sit with it, sit with it, sit with it, sit with it. Sit with it. The more you begin to sit with it, the more you begin to find answers. Can't run away, can't distract yourself, can't escape. Sit with it. That trauma is teaching you something to become a stronger individual. It, it's trying to change your perspective about something in your life. And when you find out what's controlling you, you become in control. You become the storm. You become the shadow. You become the thing that was controlling you. So you take your life into control. Pretty amazing what can happen. It's all about how you look at it. All right? I love you guys and peace and love.